Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, to answer a question I've seen a few times since uh, we've been posting the videos about the uh, famous problem with the local security authority uh, protection in the um, Windows security app. Uh, so the last video I showed you how to start it if it doesn't start. Um, one of the things that was asked a lot in there is why is my core isolation off? Because a lot of you have core isolation on. So um, first of all, I want to show you that the fix fixes the fact that there's a restart uh, that is asked all the time. Now it's fine. So uh, my memory integrity and uh, core isolation is off for a simple reason is that I have a hardware device that has incompatible software or drivers for uh, the use of memory integrity. So uh, basically memory integrity, what it does is that it simply puts every driver, every process in a sandbox preventing anything from the outside to insert malicious code into the process. Now, because of a hardware device that I have, it has to stay off. How much of a security hazard does, is that? It's not that big of a deal, but it is definitely. It does mean that technically, if you have it on, you are technically more secure than me. But once again, you know, it all falls into the uh, fact that these are security features, but these are security features. If you get malware or hackers that try to get into the system. So, you know, remember my first rule, my first rule, make sure that you have everything up to date so that, you know, bad guys can get in is, is, you know, prevalent. That's what they're attacking most. So these features are definitely security features, but if a uh, thing like memory integrity isn't on, it's not a big deal uh, at the same time, you know. And if you go into older systems, that was not, is not even something that existed in the past. So um, it depends on your, um, you know, your drivers, and it depends also on how, uh, what your, the security of your system also, what does it have in the hardware security. But mine is off for a simple reason. If I turn it on, it's going to check drivers. And at the end of that process, it's going to tell me that there's something incompatible. And that's why it's off in my case. It's a very unique piece of software. Um, hopefully, at some point, they might actually have updated drivers that will fix that. But um, if you do have hardware, if you have something that's installed that tells you that memory integrity cannot be turned on, if it's something you use regularly, then you know don't don't worry too much about it, uh, for sure. If it's something you never use, um, I would I would recommend you to um, of course um, uninstall the device so that you can turn this on. And um, fact that is kind of a fun fact: there are some hardware, some laptops and and desktop computers out there that actually their own drivers sometimes are incompatible with memory integrity, which is kind of a I find that kind of a joke that you sell a PC that has, you know, drivers that are incompatible here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.